Hey everybody and welcome back to Adventure Cruiser. I have a new eBay find and um, the description says that this radio won't turn on and it just randomly stopped working. So I took a chance because I've had this problem before and I really hope that this is the same problem, otherwise I'm in trouble. So what happens sometimes if you have a KNG2 versus a KNG radio is when you go to download the firmware, you download the KNG P series portable firmware and you try and load the KNG into the KNG2. And that will give you the appearance that your radio is bricked. In order to hopefully reflash that, or at least what worked in my case, was download the KNG2 portable software, connect it to your Lightning app, press the power button, And <laughs> it's not doing it. Make sure everything's plugged in. Press the PTT, turn the power on. Hmm, interesting. There might actually be something wrong with this radio. Let's try a different battery, just in case. I did test that battery, it tested fine. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. Well, good news and bad news. Good news is I got a moderately priced KNG2 P800 radio. The bad news is it needs to go in to BK to be serviced. The other good news is it's a flat rate service charge, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. Hopefully. Well, you win some and you lose some on eBay. And this one, I think I'm going to break even on. But it's always a fun experiment to say, oh, I think I can fix this. I'm going to play with a few other cables, um, a few other programming dongles, and just make sure that this is the problem. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a better day than I do. Take care.